Sporters, are you looking for a new pair of shoes that are cute, comfortable, and can be worn every day? Finding your new go-to pair is now easier than ever with Rothy's. Their shoes give you right-out-of-the-box comfort, come in amazing styles and colorways, and, hey, you can wash them. It's a new age, people! And the best part is everything Rothy's makes is better for the planet. So there you go. They've repurposed millions of water bottles into their signature thread that goes into every single one of their products. Millions of women wear Rothy's shoes every single day. And I'm definitely one of them. They're so comfortable. I wear my Rothy's every day. And I'm Asian. I'm not supposed to wear them in the house. But you can't tell me what to do. It's my house. Did you know that for People's Magazine's first ever style awards, they awarded best flat to one of Rothy's styles? When I tell you these things are comfortable, I mean, I cannot overstate it. All right, so step up your shoes and accessories this spring and get ready to be asked, hey, are those Rothy's? Plus, get $20 off your first purchase at rothys.com slash add to cart. That's R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com slash add to cart. All right, Carters, welcome to another episode of Add to Cart. Now, this is a show about the things we buy, the things we buy into, and what it says about who we are, okay? I am Sujin Park, a.k.a. Sujin Park, a.k.a. Sue Park. Um, and I got my big girl pants on today because Koo is out. All right. But don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not doing this alone. I'm going to be joined by a brilliant guest who I'll bring on later on the show. Um, we're going to get to her add to carts. We're also going to get to our voicemail. Yay, our voicemail winner, because um, they're going to get a special uh, package from Nom Nom Paleo from us just as a thank you. And then we're going to get into it. But I called Claire this morning. And I said, Claire, dear Claire, this is going to be a real boring show if it's just me talking about all the things that uh, I'm not <laughs> buying this month. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you come on? Why don't you come on, producer Claire? You've never done an official uh, add to cart, mm -mm. right? Correct. So I think this will be fun. Yes. So Claire is with us. And um, we're going to jump right into what our add to carts this week are. Yay. <laughs> I'll go first, Claire. Okay. You know what I mean? Just show you how it's done, mm -hmm. you know, from a pro. <laughs> show me how it's done, too. As if you haven't if. edited, recorded, and sat in <laughs> on every painful minute of this series. Mm -hmm. All right. So as we all know, listen, my no by January is coming to a close. And boy, Claire, I'd like to say that I haven't bought anything. I really want to say that. I did. The way you're leading into this makes me think that you have, in fact, bought something. <laughs> I, I, let, 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 me, let me explain myself. Sure. Um, I, I did buy some things. And I didn't ask you because you were so mean the last time I asked you <laughs> if I could buy books. Frankly, let's be honest. You said go to the library. Um, I'm not going to mention that we're in a pandemic. And also, I don't know what the library is here in Santa Barbara. <laughs> But I had to buy toothbrushes for my kids. Mm -hmm. I was looking at their nubby little toothbrushes. And I said, uh, this could wait. You know, this could really wait, Sue. If I'm looking at an unfresh toothbrush mm. with bristles that aren't working, mm. you know how I feel about my teeth. Mm -hmm. I mean, my kids, they barely, they just swipe at it. It's just a whisper of a brush as it is. <laughs> I can lay up at, you know, w wake up at nights thinking about yeah. how their teeth are just rotting from the inside out. And so I had to do it. And I didn't ask you. So I'm coming to you now. I'm confessing. I'm okay. telling you the truth. I appreciate that. Because that's what I do here. Mm -hmm. It's been heavy on my mind. But I also am hoping that you will say that that wasn't cheating. Well, no, I actually don't think. I think <laughs> it's not cheating. Oh, Fantastic. Because A, it's for your kids. So that's that's exactly. fine. And also, exactly. I'm very proud of you because the steep slope that is dental hygiene for you <laughs> and the places you could have gone, I'm very proud of the restraint that you showed. And only buying toothbrushes, that's great. 
for my kids. For your kids, not for even for kids. you. I didn't even buy two. No. And I, uh, I really need some stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm, you know what? I appreciate your honesty. I think you did very well. Good job. I'm sorry about being so mean about the book. Well, I wasn't sure that I really, wa- I, I really was, was ready to, to, you know, take it, uh, take the punishment, but I'm glad that um, you have found it in your heart to forgive this yes. because there are some listeners that are being like, this is bullshit. And you know what? You're right. You're probably right. But that's not what Claire said. And she is judge and jury on this show. <laughs> so. I've been talking about things that in January, not new things that I've been buying, but things that I have been enjoying. Listen, I'm going to talk about a product, ORG Skincare. It was one of the very few products that I knew I wanted to bring on to this show before the, it was even a show. Um, I mean, Claire, I've been using this product for over 10 years. Really? I, I was trying to do the math. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I think it's been, yeah, because you know what? I discovered it. It's actually nine years. I discovered it. The day, and I'm not going to get into the details, the day I went into labor and my son is nine. Wow. So anyway, they've been such supporters and partners um, of our show. And it's just so nice to, you know, when we talk about something that we love, game changers, that they then come on and support us and Mm -hmm. love our, you know, listeners and giveaways. I mean, they've just been fantastic. So for those of you that haven't been listening, ORG Skincare um, is a product, right? And you spray it on your body or your face. They have two different sprays. And you let it sit in for just a few seconds. Then you rub the product in and you get this kind of peeling effect, like it pills off of your face that's both exfoliating your skin and moisturizing. If you've ever been to a Korean spa scrub, you know what this looks like. Um, It is very satisfying. Um, Some would say it's a little gross. I find it grossly satisfying. I find it both. (laughs) Um, It's a new year. If you're kind of looking for something for uh, your skincare routine that's a little bit different that you haven't been doing, um, this is kind of a fantastic thing to start with. You know, new skin for your skincare routine. We did get a message from a listener, thank you very much, who pointed out that there were some reviews out there about this product where, you know, she was wondering, is it your skin that's actually peeling off or is it the product that's peeling? And in my experience, a little bit of it is product, but way more of it is your skin. Because if you use the product, let's say on a glove, if you're testing it out, you'll get a little bit of peeling. But when you actually put it directly on your skin, you get way more pilling. And it's pilling and peeling because it's kind of both because it is sort of like almost like like rolls of your skin coming off. It's it's hard to explain. You have to see it um, to really understand what I'm saying. And I do have to say, if you're like me and you do exfoliate pretty often, like it won't pill as much on your face, but on my body, mm. like on my hand, on my chest, on my neck, this thing is rolling off in giant gray <laughs> caterpillars. <laughs> so disgusting amazing (laughs) we just walk around with you know dead dead skin skin. hey that's life we're humans yeah um so that's my sort of like new add to cart Mm -hmm. and then my just like og always add to cart great i love that Okay, Claire, time for your first a- official add to cart. Listen, you've added a lot of things to cart. Uh, yeah. We've shared things. Yes. You've added a lot of things to cart that Ku and I have talked about, mm-hmm. that you then text us about. So yes. I am very curious. Producer Claire is bringing her first official add to cart. Yeah. What is this? Um, okay, so my my heart is racing so fast. This is so funny. <laughs> um, okay, so... When you told me this morning that I should bring something on, I was like, I I have thought about this so much in my mind. <laughs> this is actually perfect in a the context of your note by January and B uh, in the context of me adding so many things from this show to my cart. For a long time, I was like not a big consumer of things um, in particular, like skincare still don't know a lot about that makeup and definitely clothes and shoes just like so everything <laughs> so Claire, most you, things you named yeah. every category <laughs> except for small appliances yep which also those so things not a consumer yeah. i just wasn't a big consumer um i really um didn't 
know how to dress myself well. I, w- I would say I still don't really know how to do that, but I'm trying. Um, and I had two pairs of shoes that I would wear, one pair in the summer and then one pair in the winter. And then um, I don't know if it was like a combination of starting to work on this show plus shopping being like the only sort of way I could check out that was neutral feeling. Yeah. My shopping got really out of hand. Um, and I started, I was like buying shoes all the time. I got into this habit of checking the door, like going to the door and looking out the window to see if any packages arrived like seven times a day. Oh yeah. Um, I remember you one time. I still do that knowing that there's no packages coming. It's so, yeah, I do, I do that on Sundays when I know nothing comes. I remember you one time like describing that feeling of a package arriving and you being like, I don't know what this is. Uh, I very much related to that. And I was like, this is getting out of hand. Like, A, yeah. it just doesn't feel so aligned in my values. Yeah. So my sister, my one of my sisters, uh, over the holidays, told me about this rental company called Newly. It's kind of like Rent the Runway, but a little bit cheaper. So it's $90 a month. And it's so cool. It arrives in this reusable sort of like soft box yeah uh you get to wear them all month and then you fold them up they give you a label you just like slap it back on send it back and then you choose another six things for the next month and it has been honestly a game changer because i still spend i still like checking out a lot of the time browsing clothes and now i get to just do that on this website to choose what i want for the next month but I'm not spending money. It's all like, you know, reusable. They wash it. I like that the box is reusable. It's just so much better for the bank. Um, so this is my add to cart. It's been I mean, very good for me. This is, <laughs> I am, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. You guys, I'm hobbling to the finish line because this may be the first <laughs> thing that I add to cart. I am a huge Rent the Runway uh, fan, I want to say at one point I had two subscriptions because <laughs> I just wasn't getting enough. Yeah, and because I was going into an office like mm-hmm. a lot mm-hmm. every day was like, what am I going to wear? But I would just have these boxes, and I'm like, great, this top. We've talked about this before about like decision making fatigue. I just get overwhelmed very easily, mm-hmm. and I feel like we're sort of similar in that way. Yes, this kind of, you know, scratches off a lot of things because you get new stuff. You don't have to think yes. about what yes. I'm going to wear because I'm just going to wear the new stuff that came in the newly box. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no thinking power went into that. So, and then wait, with newly for $90, you get six items. I mean, that's a lot. I like it because sort of similarly with Rent the Runway, you get to s- try different styles. You know, yeah. and then if you're like, okay, this really is not me, then that's fine. Then you can just, you but know, that's you fun. return it. Yeah, there's no guilt in that. Yeah. I think this is kind of genius. And I like that this company, it feels a little bit more organic and mm-hmm. more sort of earth friendly. Like this is a bit more um, just kind of down to earth and just simple things that you would use every day, which is kind of the stuff we want to wear right now. Yeah. Like who's going out in crop tops? Not me. Not me. I mean, Claire. I mean, are you even wearing underwear? <laughs> no. <laughs> am I? Actually, I am. I am. But hey, did because, you get it from Newly? <laughs> but it's because I'm wearing Newly pants, and I was like, I can't not wear underwear with rented pants. That's that's nasty. <laughs> However, if it oh, were my newly. own pants, if it were my own pants, I would definitely not be wearing underwear. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Um, nothing has changed, you guys. Those are good add to carts. All right. Thank you. Um, when we come back, we have our very special guest. Um, she's hilarious. She herself is a game changer, by the way. Mm. So we'll get to her when we come back. All right. So, uh, so excited. Our guest today uh, was a head writer and co creator of The Daily Show. She now runs a nonprofit, a badass nonprofit, may I add, the Abortion Access Fund, and hosts the talk show Feminist Buzzkills. Uh, please welcome everybody to Add to Cart, Liz Winstead. Welcome to the show, Liz. 
Thanks, Sue. How are you? Good. Um, so excited to have you here. Listen, this is my solo run, my first solo run, and I feel like I am in very capable hands. Kulop, I think, uh, specifically uh, made sure that uh, I was with someone that knew how to do a show. So <laughs> listen, it's not that she doesn't trust me. It's that she just likes to make sure, even when she's not here, that, you know, things are getting done to her level. You know, sometimes you just got to get your ducks in a row so that the ducks can remain in a row. And I feel <laughs> like I have the utmost confidence in you. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Um, so listen, uh, we always like to start by asking our guests, uh, what kind of shopper are you? So the Liz shopper is definitely someone who before there was the trend of trying to not buy new I was always the person who was not buying new. I am a thriver in any kind of junk store, flea market, um, and and not like necessarily like hoity-toity vintagey things. Like I will roll up my sleeves and go in those stores that are like closed by the pound. You know, like I will yeah, immigrant fill style. bags. Yeah. A hundred percent. And um, I'm also like a big posh marker. Like I'm, if I find something I like that is new when I, when I happen in the new road, if I buy replications of it, I will buy them used. So like, especially with pants that I like that, you know, you find those pants that fit you and you're like, where are these pants or stuff you can't afford? Like I love Cole Haan shoes, like men's wingtips. I love them. And so I will always buy them on Poshmark. Like I have every color of every suede. I have every metallic. Like I am upset. I love menswear fashion. Yeah. And then when it comes to like, I'm very tactile. So like if I have to go to Staples, I do like a lot of like push pins and I like a lot of um colorful um oh my god what is the word paper but clips that's and... the word what is wrong with me <laughs> no because <laughs> I am I am recognizing a fellow uh staple like I feel like I'm whenever I'm there I'm the only person there yeah in, by the way including the staff like yeah. I'm the only person in the store I'm like yeah I've been in here for two hours Touching paper clips. Touching paper clips. The pandemic has been really interesting for tactile people, right? For those of us who love to dig at a flea market, all of a sudden it's like, oh, oh my God, am I just like digging for COVID now? Am I like hunting out COVID clothes? Is that what I'm doing? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's get to some add to carts. Um, now, on this show, uh, we do not know uh, what the other person is bringing because I'm not an actress. And so I can't be surprised unless I'm here in the moment. And you have certainly brought something. Fondue parties with hostess pants and board games? None of that. None of those things go together. Is it, is it, break this down for me. What is this add to cart? Now, I just feel like we're back in a space where we're in small pods and we're not going to be going out for a while. And so... Uh, what does it mean to get together with people? Yeah. And so I am obsessed with like, anytime I see a movie where like, they're having a cocktail party, and then there's someone's playing the piano. And there's people while like walking around and just mm -hmm. like singing. Everyone apparently at these parties is like a great singer. Um, and so I want to bring back like, these parties. Yeah. Bring back the fondue pots with your six people in your pod. Like, let's start. Wait. Let's start having like some delicious melted cheese and some bread. <laughs> let's heat up some oil and put some anchovy paste in that, and put in some meats and some like endive. Wait. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. Wait, first of all, I've never done fondue. <gasps> I know what fondue is with cheese. But with the way you're describing it, it's also kind of like um, an, an Asian hot pot yes. experience. But you can bring meats into it. Oh my God! You can you can boil oils, and you can season your oils, and then you can put vegetables in those seasoned oils or meats. You can put the bread and the cheese. Then you can have like chocolates and dip fondues. Like yes, you can lay out your fondue pots everywhere. 
And then I'm a big fan of board games. Like I'm a big fan of competitive board gaming, password. Yeah. So I just want like games going on in rooms and different fondue pots. And then hostess pants. Like if you don't know what hostess pants are, people, get on the Google machine, change your life. So you might not know them as hostess pants or that name, but they are dope capri pants that have an attached skirt to them. So you're wearing ballet flats and your fitted turtleneck and your hostess pants and some big chunky necklace, like a scarab or something amazing, right? Oh, yeah. And then you're just going to like sit around with your Truman Capote in your life. Right. And you're Liberace in your life. And you're just going to be playing board games and eating fondue and regaling each other with stories of traveling to the continent. And I'm here for it. Like, let's just hunker down and start it and just make sure you have somebody you can play piano in your life, too, because you're going to have to start some singing. I mean, I need so to that is in the cart. Hard. I am going hard. I'm going hard. <laughs> you're going, I, mean, I have to catch my breath. You guys, <laughs> you guys. I have to catch my breath. First of all, wow, what a picture. I mean, what a visual. You have you have laid a mood. You have laid a vibe, a scent, a taste. Yes. You are just you are hitting all the senses. Yes. You know? And I clicked on the link of uh, an example of a vintage hostess gown set with cigarette pants. Yes. And it is, may I say, fucking spectacular. It's spectacular. It is gorgeous. Right? It is gorgeous. I love the idea of melting cheese, playing board games in the most luxurious getup. Yes. You know what I mean? Because this is this is unparalleled. Like there's no even, there's no even knockoff of this. You know, usually you see vintage clothing and you're like, oh yeah, I've seen, you know, the Zara version of this. No, this is truly Liz, you have brought a a game changer that is so unique. Um, We will put this link on all of our socials um, so that you can see this, but it's amazing. Now, wait, so do you have a collection of like, fondue wear? I have fondue pots and I have two hostess outfits. They're not as good as that one. In fact, what I would say to all your crafties out there, yeah. um, there are tons of incredibly dope patterns, like old vintage patterns to make them. And if you can sew, get on it and get yourself a hostess pants outfit. Um, but I do have a bunch of fondue pots because I, I am a big thrower of parties. I throw small dinner parties all the time and I love to bring people together who have um, come from like interesting points of view and have interesting things to say. And I just think it's really important to, especially now when everything is such garbage, to bring together people who can storytell their experiences in a way that is really fun and compelling and interesting. And it's really great to bring folks together, especially over food. Uh, I think that that is like, to me, a very big uh, center because mm. cooking to me is something is that's also just very cathartic. So I love cooking. You have two removed from carts. I want you to pick the one that you want to talk about. It's the faux Fauci or all the abortion restrictions. Um, I mean, I think they're both great. They're both great. I <laughs> mean, they both should be removed. By they the both way. should be removed. Um, I would say I'm going to quick. I'm going to combine them quickly. The faux Fauci yeah. are the people who are, you know, your Joe right. Rogan types who are constantly um, annoying everyone with their medical advice and. We've sort of been inundated with conspiracy theories um, in in around COVID conspiracy theories and everything. And the abortion conspiracy theories are no exception. And and people who have made up horrible lies around abortion have led us to have these incredible abortion restrictions. And being somebody who advocates for access to abortion um, and watching how people who are marginalized, mostly people of color, have been um, just punished relentlessly through everything, and especially abortion restrictions. Um, We just need to remove them all from CART because now we're to the point where it's like, 
this Texas law where they're allowing people to hunt down. It's like a sci-fi movie. It's a sci-fi like movie. If you wrote that, no people would be like, but that would never happen. We can't go that far from truth. Yes. The fact that the courts have allowed, you know, any rando to be deputized to hunt down people who are helping other people get abortions. And writing them a check. And writing them a check for $10,000. Um, and now, you know, five other states have passed an identical law because this Texas law remains in effect. And so yeah. we need to remove from the cart all the abortion restrictions because we do not get to have full humanity and full citizenry unless our path to self-determination yeah. is cleared. That's right. And so it's like if there's if you have never thought about it in that way before, think about it that way before. And if you're a dude who's like, you know what? Why do I care about abortion? Why do I care about any of this? Here's the deal. If you're listening to this, uh, I would like you to think about all the partners you've had in your life, sexual partners, and how many times all those sexual partners paid for all the birth control. If the answer is, oh, almost all the time, then you can thank birth control and those partners and abortion because you also got to pursue your dreams because somebody else uh, took charge. Also, you know, you could make a donation to Abortion Access Front on behalf of all the women who paid for their own birth control. I'm saying this is this is my new thing to men. Donate to us to thank the women in your life who paid for all the birth control. I don't know. All this stuff, the conspiracy theories, some of it, by the way, I mean, it's our fault. Podcasts, I feel like, you know, in so many ways, like, social media all we all have our own channels of distribution yeah. we have our own media network some people think you yes. know that this is it and i think a lot of people it's no surprise you know get their news from comedians yes. and their get medical their news. advice <laughs> and listen uh sometimes that's not as scary as others and then you know you see where it goes wrong and 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 it, it is it is shocking and it's, you know, it's hard not to pass judgment, really hard, especially around the family gatherings. Oh, my you gosh, know, that is oof, very hard. I know. You got to just pass the fondue. You know what I you mean? Gotta you just got to keep moving in your hostess pants, just sashaying to, you, to the other to the group, next to room. the other side. Flitting about, letting, letting the breeze. Singing it away. Bring just, your skirt all up. All right. It's all <laughs> fine. It's all fine. You know what? You have yeah. your feelings. There's the door. Well, I just want to say that it is, you know, you use this a lot um, in your writing and especially talking about all this stuff, how it is cathartic. I think talking about this, that was like a word that I haven't heard a lot when we talk about serious things that are fucked up and dark. Yeah. You know, yeah. that if we don't talk about it and laugh about it and scream about it. And like pound our heads on the wall. Like we're all just going to melt on the inside. Like it's just we have to have some catharsis. Yeah. Um, and the catharsis is what brings us to, I often think too, when we talk about abortion especially, it's been a subject that has been taboo to talk about. We talk around it. We'll say choice and reproductive care. And, and those are words. But like why, you know, self-examining, why haven't we been talking about abortion? Why are we eh, and wincy when we say it? Why can't we advocate for abortion? And it's because we haven't, as a society, even stepped up to make up our own minds. The The anti-abortion yeah. side has given us the vernacular, sort of made us feel bad about ourselves. And like, I'm here to tell you the good news about abortion. It is a moral, ethical choice that somebody might have to make. Um, for their for a pregnancy they have, yeah, and that and is fine. And that is, and if that's what you, the choice you need to make, you don't need to explain it to anybody. Yeah. You need to embrace it because you've decided this is what I need to continue yeah. with the path that is going to be best for me and my family. Boom. That's right. Done. Here's here's some good things. When when somebody attacks you or trolls you or whatever weighs in, here's the thing: if they're not feeding you, fucking you, or paying you. Their opinion should be in your emotional sub basement. <laughs> Trash can. Trash yeah, can. That's where Out. it is. I love it. 
done. That is the perfect way to end on that. <laughs> um, thank you, Liz. Now, tell everybody, where can we find you? Where can we find um, the organization? So you can find me on social media at Liz Winstead. I spell my name with two Z's, so I'm everywhere. Um, Abortion Access Front. If you want to just kind of like keep abreast of what's going on with all these crazy laws, uh, the best places our social media is at Abortion Front. If you want to get involved, you can go to aafront.org and click on resources and you can volunteer there and see all the stuff we do. And then every week we have this incredibly great show on YouTube on the Abortion Access Front YouTube channel called Feminist Buzzkills Live. And it's a really fun weekly talk show with comedians and musicians and experts in the field of abortion care. And we give you all sort of the updates of the week on what's happening and how you can fight back. You can get smarter, you can laugh, and you can get involved all in one 30-minute show. Well, there it is. Liz, well, thank you so much for this. Thank you. All right, we're back and we have voicemail. Okay, this one is from Miriam. Hi, Cool Up and Suchin. I'm calling you from Calgary, Canada uh, to provide maybe some abdicars, uh from a colder climate perspective. I know you two live in California. Um, but there's a lot of us gals out here living living in the really cold areas where it's really cold and really dry. So I just wanted to share quickly three products that have been kind of game changers for me this winter. Um, Just for context, in Calgary here, we've been suffering under something called a polar vortex. I don't even really know what that means, to be honest. I think it's like Arctic temperatures, but it's been hella dry. It's usually hella dry because it's the Canadian prairies, but it's been even worse. I looked it up for conversion. I think we've been sitting between like minus 22 Fahrenheit and minus 30 Celsius for the last few weeks. So it's been tough. Um, My first game changer is this facial oil from a company called Face Tori. Um, I believe it's out of Los Angeles. This is called the Squalene Calming Glow Weightless Facial Oil. Um, Mix it up for my little skincare routine at the end of the day. Keeps my skin nice and moisturized in this really cold and awful winter. Another one is I'm black. I have really curly, some may say coily hair. So this super cold weather and really, really, really dry um, existence has been not so fun for my hair, which needs a lot of moisture. There's a whole routine to how I take care of my hair. And I know you've talked about deranged shower routines, but oh man, you, you gals need to hear about black hair and wash day because it's an experience. It's a self-care experience. It's wonderful, but it's a lot of steps. So one of the things that I've added to my routine um, this year is Olaplex number three hair perfector. It's a mask kind of that I do before I wash my hair. It repairs bonds in your hair and it's been a major game changer because I usually get a lot of split ends, mid shaft splits, um, and just general dryness and sad hair in the winters but I've been doing it once every week when I wash my hair and it's uh, it's really made a huge difference. My hair feels super, super healthy or as healthy as it can in this really cold weather because have I mentioned, it's been really, really cold. My last one is uh, from a company called Heat Holders. So they make a bunch of thermal protection clothes, I guess. Um, I really like their footless tights to wear under my jeans. And also snow pants because it's cold. Maybe cool up, you'll know, growing up in Minnesota, it's really cold. Um, So those are awesome. They're super soft. Uh, I find that the quality is really, really good. And they keep me nice and toasty as sort of under armor under my pants. Um, And then the ones that are, I don't know what the opposite of footless is. Foot full, the one, the tights with the feet under them. When it's not as cold, like in late fall, for example, I like to wear them under wool skirts, and again, they keep me super nice and toasty and and glamorous when I go out. Um, So those are my three sort of game changers, I guess, for for the rest of us who are suffering through these winters. Um, Thanks so much, gals. It's been really nice listening to you from day one. Oh, my goodness, Miriam. I mean, what a cutie patootie. I... (laughs) 
I'm dying, by the way, to hear um, what her deranged shower routine is because yes. the, you know she just l- left us on such a cliffhanger. Now, the this is such a fantastic category mm-hmm. of like ha- when you're in extreme weather because Claire, you're in Utah, mm-hmm. which even in the summer is. I mean, there's extreme weather there. I feel like almost year round. I think I was probably partial to her voicemail one. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because this, you was, added this was for me. Everything uh, yeah. to cart. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm sure other audience members could benefit from this. But yeah, I uh, there were so many things. Where I, I think I added most of those things to, to cart. Um, because yeah, it's really dry here all the time in the summer. It's like 100 degrees. I used to get like last winter, I was getting a bloody nose every single day. Yeah. Um, because of how dry it was. It doesn't matter what the season is. My skin is always dry. Mm-hmm. And it's always been that way. And so mm-hmm. I am a face oil junkie. I yes. love also, Miriam, thank you for bringing things that are super price friendly, um, all very affordable. But mm-hmm. um, so, Miriam, thank you so much. Um, we've been talking about giving away stuff to those uh, voicemailers that were playing on the show. So this week you get... And I got this. This is fantastic. It's a signed copy of Michelle Tam's newest book, Nom Nom Paleo. Let's go. Um, this is the one Kulop has been. She has all of her books. This was the first one that I got. And it's it's so beautiful, so easy, so tasty, so umami rich, mm. by the way, all the recipes. You also get the Nom Nom Paleo knee-high socks. Again, uh, this is perfect because you're in cold warmth. weather. Yeah. Yes. Um, you get a Nom Nom Paleo Fellow Products Carter Move Mug. Again, perfect for you because <laughs> this thing is, it has like a tea strainer Ooh. at the top. And so you can put kind of loose leaf tea and it keeps, it's all thermal and it's insulated. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Stickers and then spice blends. Let me tell you something, Miriam. I hope you're listening to this because you've won this. Uh, The spice rack, Claire, the spice rack that she's got a set of, there's this one called something mushroom. I I can't explain it. Everything. Uh, (gasps) Tell me something that I haven't put it. Tell me something. Toast, eggs, rice, (laughs) steak, (laughs) chicken nuggets. (laughs) Grilled cheese. French fries. French fries. <laughs> I'm going to be the crazy person that has this mushroom umami uh, spice from Nom Nom in my bag and pulling it out mm. at restaurants. It's so good. We're going to pop that in the mail. You're going to receive that. Thank you so much. That's it for this week's show. We did it. Um, thank you, Claire, for, for being my, my plus one. Thanks for still loving me, even though I was mean to you. Even though sometimes you're mean to me. I love it. I love it when you're mean to me. Um, It brings me such pleasure to know that you feel safe with me. Because mean is not you, Claire. You don't have a mean, mean little hair on your body. So we'll share all of Liz's items, all the links in our Instagram. I mean, where do you get a load of these hostess pants? I don't know. I, it was hard for me to keep a straight face through nice. any of that. It was so amazing. It's all on our Instagram at add to cart pod. We'll be here next week. So see you then. Bye. Bye bye. Add to cart is a production of Lemonada Media. Our producer is Claire Jones. Our mix is by Ivan Kurev and Veronica Rodriguez. The music is by Wasabi and produced by LA Made It and oh so familiar with additional music by APM Music. Executive producers are Kulup Vlysak, Sujin Pak, Jessica Cordova Kramer, and Stephanie Whittles Wax. Be sure to check out all the items we mentioned today on our Instagram at Add to Cart Pod. Also, please take a moment to rate, review, and subscribe to this show wherever you get your podcasts.